All right, continuing on to part two. We're gonna start cleaning them intake valves. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling the ones up that are closed with some chem tool. Got out my drill, I got my little brush kit. Turned over, cut open. Got my little drill adapter I'm gonna throw in the drill. We're just gonna start with the steel brushes. Maybe try the brass ones. I don't think the plastic ones are going to do anything. But let's get to it. So I got my breaker bar on the crank pulley. It's a, uh, I believe it's a three quarter or a 19 millimeter. Same one you use for your uh, lug nuts. Um, and so far, cylinder one, we go one, three, five, two, four, six, one, five, two, or I'm sorry, one, five, four, and six are all closed right now. And that scope I have, I don't know, it's just, you can actually see in here with the naked eye. You can kind of see, eh, if I can get the light right. Those valves are closed. This one's open. I gotta get this. Man, it's really difficult to record this. You can't really tell, but if you look right down in there, you can see both those valves are open and you can see in the cylinder. And same with cylinder two. Yeah, this is gonna be impossible to film this one. Can number one of the chem tool. You know, probably don't really want to use the straw. I don't know. Let's just get in here. I'm gonna shoot some in here and make sure it stays. Watch as it splashes back in my face. That would indicate that the valve might be open a little bit. I'm going to be pissed if it starts leaking down into the cylinder. I can't tell if it's going down or if it's just splashing around. Alright, let's try five. Oh shit. It's five open. Five looks close to me. Dude, this really takes a lot of this stuff. Oh, it really does take a lot of this stuff. It's cylinders full. I'm going to go off the tripod here and just uh, show you what it looks like. Change my light over. You can see I got that full of the chem tool. There's five. 
can see it splashing around in there. All right, so I said two and six. I got two more I'm gonna give a try. Try filling up. This one's really gotta lean over and look in. Let this stuff go. Oh yeah, we're getting up to the top with this one. Ooh, got that one way up. I love it. Let's fill up six. Six, the one that's been giving me trouble. Oh, I'm about to kill the can. That can's dead. You can. Yep, she's filling up too. Alright, love it. Woo! She's coming up. Alright, back off the tripod. I got one, see ya, got that almost well way to the top. Five, six, and four. We're gonna let them soak. I'm gonna let them soak for a while. So I went ahead and I attached this handle to it instead of the drill and just started kind of slowly going down in there. Going this way and that way, trying to get both valves. And I don't think this isn't flexible enough to get behind the valves. I think if we just go in and brush it real well, try not to disturb too much of this stuff. Give this a try and see where we're at. Might take the drill to it. Might work a little better. Well, let's give this a go. kind of feel this brush diminishing in size. <laughs> what do we got on here? Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe I can put a smaller brush on there and I can get around the backs of the valves. I'm just making sure to go up and down and all around the perimeter of the intake port and get what I can on the backs of those valves. I think I might just take the shot back and vacuum out that old chem tool and then jam some rags in there and see what I can pick up. Because I put a lot in there. So I think I'm going to switch to a smaller bristle uh, brush and see if I can 
try to maneuver it around the intake valves, around the backs of them. I'm going to start with this one. There's like one smaller. I'm just going to see. Go by feel here. Let's do this one. Well, I can tell I'm kind of going kind of going behind. It's not going to get all the way behind, but kind of at least to the sides of them. You can kind of get some of them. Again, I'm just going by feel. I kind of want to suck the chem tool out of that one and just see what it looks like. See if this is doing any good, but I think what I really want to do is let it soak a little longer. Let some of that work a little better. Okay, another little uh, progress update here that I wasn't recording. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought I'd use one of these little plastic ones to kind of finish cleaning up on the drill. And I put it on high speed and the damn thing broke. Broke off. So don't use high speed. I had to go in there with my uh, magnet and fish it out. Uh, I took the shop vac to that, that cylinder. That was uh, number four. As I try to get up here. Um, I got most of it out with the shop bag. Now, nah, of course, I'm not going to be able to see it with this camera. Oh, you can kind of see it. Kind of. So the valves down there, there was still some crud on the top of them. I just took my uh, big long screwdriver right here and just kind of scratched. There, you're not going to scratch the valves with the screwdriver. I just kind of went over it. Sprayed a little bit more of chem tool on the top just to kind of loosen it up. Man, I just can't convey it on this camera, but man, it cleaned up really nice in there. I think I'm going to get some rags down in there and try to wipe the top of those valves. And maybe shoot a little more chem tool in there, but man, it made a hell of a difference. Now here's cylinder uh, two that I have not cleaned yet. Look at all that shit in there still. Let's see if I can get the... There's the valves. Of course the camera's not focusing on it. It's all full of shit still. And if we can get back on here, you can still... The chem tool's still pooling on the top of the valves, but the inside of that intake port is just so much cleaner now. Alright, as I continue to clean down in there with the screwdriver, I decided, you know what, I should have popped these, should have popped this gasket off. Uh, Clay says you can reuse it. I'll clean it up and you're supposed to put some like dielectric grease on the rubber parts when you go to put the intake back on, which I will do. Toss this to the side. Oh, maybe I'll stick it in the, in the parts washer. That's what you're hearing me do right now. It's in the parts washer now. And it just appears that all I'm doing is soaking this piece here, which I should probably tidy up. So I'm going to get that out of the way. You can see I got, that's all soaked from the chem tool. Toss that to the side. I'm not going to put that in my pressure washer or parts washer. <laughs> and now, <laughs> sneak peek to part three. My fuel rails are open. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this off the tripod and we're going to zoom in I again. took like an old sock and I took my screwdriver, stuck it through there. Yeah, I'm holding the camera by hand now if you can't tell. But uh, I did that. As I'm trying to fish this through single-handedly, maybe I should have did that off camera. Anyway, I put that down in the cylinder and just, or down in the port and just twisted and went all around the valve. And I got her pretty clean. I uh, sprayed a little bit of more chem tool in there and scraped a little bit of more carbon off the valve. But I think this little system I developed here is going fucking great. Pardon my French. 
All right, as I continue to let, allow these uh, valves to soak, uh, got a comment from Joe Lewis about a month ago asking me about uh, if I was going to do a power steering flush. Um, I'm going to point this out. I've noticed that the, two, the reservoir is completely remote from the pump. Pump is way the hell down here. Way back by the firewall, I'm trying to get my light on it. Um, that's it right down there. And this reservoir, in my first video, I got the two bolts out to squeeze out the intake. Well, it turns out there's a third one right there. That third bolt comes out. And you can see this is your low pressure hose goes all the way down to the pump. So, I don't know if you want to unbolt this reservoir completely, pull it out of the way, or take that hose out. That's your low pressure hose. So, <laughs> not something I'm going to mess with today. I think if I'm just going to change my fluid, I'm going to suck it out of the reservoir and top it back off. So there you go, Joe. So I'm chugging right along and I got most of these looking beautiful been having s trouble on number five I keep uh, I just keep squirting a little more carb cleaner down in there and agitating it I'm using a Phillips screwdriver now just going down in there and agitating or trying to get around the valves and around the back best I can the ports look great but at uh, a stash of old socks, just take a sock and jam it down in there and wrap it around the screwdriver. And try to get up most of this carbon. Honestly, the number five is the worst one. I've been having the most difficulty getting this one clean. The rest of them cleaned right up real nice. But, uh, uh, shake camera aside, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to turn the crank and get the valves closed on two and three and do those. And it's the same technique. So I will sign off this one and I'll be back tomorrow to do the injectors. Thumbs up if you like it. And thanks for visiting.